everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is nanama you can call me ama or nana for sure whichever one that you like so listen here on this space i like to just post whatever it is that i feel like posting um just a bunch of the many different things that i'm interested in so this is just really a random youtube channel <laughs> but anyway if that's what's good to you make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that every time that i upload you already know what's up so let's get right into it so today I have a little mini um, birthday haul, I guess I'll call it. Really the only thing on here that I intentionally, not intentionally, but I, I would say that I really bought um, in the spirit of my birthday will probably be just one item. The rest are stuff that I was going to get down the line anyway because I need them. Um, but I just happened to buy them on or around my birthday just to get into the festivities. <laughs> of it all um but yeah just something some little stuff that i got so yeah let's just get into it i thought that would be fun to watch also i love hauls reviews um unboxings just any type of product item that kind of give you a look into how the item looks it's very important for the shopping experience every time i'm shopping and i can get on youtube and watch a review of the product and how it looks how um it, you know it moves how it works and everything like that it just makes my shopping experience better so hopefully any of these items here might help you out if you are also trying to buy something in this video so yeah let's get right into it okay so one of the items that i got um is from tori birch tori birch so this was actually my first time going into a physical tori birch store instead of um online and i must say going into the store i kind of fell in love with the brand um i don't know it's just there was just something about being in the store feeling the ambiance of the store and seeing like everything that that um tori birch has at a go was just like oh they really got some cool stuff um for this brand so um you know tori birch is I guess name brand, but it's not really like a luxury. Um, I guess it's more of a contemporary brand. Um, but I really, really like their stuff after going to the store. I didn't like their stuff before, but I like their stuff even more. It's one of your classic slippers. So I ended up, I really wasn't planning on getting this because um, I, I'm actually, during the summer, I'm waiting for summer to come and I was going to buy the um hermes um hermes oran 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 slippers or whatever it's called and white that's what i would really wanted to get but then recently i came across another shoe slipper that i really really like it's the dior um the christian dior it's not the one with christian dior written over it with the little prints on top the one that um the common one that a lot of people have it's just it's like all leather and it just has cd on it um but when i went to the store i just grabbed this because i feel like i think i want the christian dior slipper more than i want the um hermes slipper in white um so instead of just getting the hermes slippers i just got this one because um just to be a matured um grown up and not waste money foolishly there's no point in getting both the christian dior, um, dior um slipper and then also getting another um her mask slipper it's just unnecessary so i just got this one instead in white this is such a classic Tory Burch slipper i love this i think it's so cute it's so um you know classy and baby girl and just really really cute shoe to have so yeah i got this one and i am in a size seven if you are wondering whoo y'all can y'all tell that i am so tired like i turned up a little bit last night and Woke up late when I got, I mean, went to bed late when I got home. So I'm just like really tired. Whew. <sighs> Whew. Okay. I'm alive. All right. So now, <sighs> okay. So the next product um, that I have is a little something, something from Louis Vuitton. Um, I got a little bracelet or something that I've been eyeing for a while that I was going to get, but I just, um, decided to get it now because of the birthday festivities. Um, 
So it comes, I bought it from the store. So it came, you know, in the bag. Um, the box comes, you know, with the ribbon and everything. But obviously I took it off. But anyway, yeah, let's get into the jewelry. So, uh, oh, that sound is so annoying. Oh my gosh. So this is the bracelet. It comes in the little um, dust bag. And um, this is the love, the... Um, what is it called? All right, so this is called the in lock um, bracelet, kind of like you know in love, because I got the one with the love on it. Um, I'll do a close up so y'all can see it well. See it well, but like these Louis Vuitton bracelets, they have it in like the bags. They have to lock it in the bag and everything like that. But I got the heart. There is another one that I really really like. It's like in a bag form, and that's like one of my favorite bags um, at Louis Vuitton. So I kind of wish I got that one um but it's fine so i got the heart one and if you are trying to look into buy this bracelet trust me y'all this is like really the wrist is really thin it's really tiny online it looks like you're getting something thick thick but it's like really really tiny but anyway let me put it on so y'all can see it's kind of easy to put on yourself too so so let me try to put it on put it on put it on uh it's really simple, honestly. Oh, gosh. It's really easy, I promise. Uh, all right, see, I got it on. So, um, this is the bracelet. It's probably not focusing, but I'll zoom up later so y'all can see. But this is the bracelet right here, just a little locket. I think it is so cute. This kind of reminds me of the Juicy Couture. Remember when we were in high school? Um, I don't know. Do they still sell them? I haven't seen them in a while, but the Juicy Couture bracelets. Oh my God, I used to love them. I used to have a couple of them and I had the necklace and everything like that. But yeah, um, so this is this is it right here. It's really, really cute. I think it's so cute if you have this one and a chain on. I mean, a, um, a watch on. That would be like really, really cute. Um, yeah, I prefer to wear it with the heart to the front though. Just like that so you can see the locket. But um yeah and i got mine in the size 17 i think it comes in 17 and 19 i think that, i don't know if it's only two options but I'm, i only know of 17 and 19. all right y'all so i was getting ready to record another video on my uh, my channel and when looking through my memory card i noticed that there, there was one more gift that i did not show you guys um since i received this package i haven't opened it yet i just kept it in the corner where i keep all of my mail and i guess i forgot about it so really quickly let me just come <laughs> Let me just come back on here and, and show you guys. Um, so this is the box right here. Um, so let's, let's open it up. I'm excited because I, I completely just left it. I never opened it. So an unboxing. Um, this purchase right here, I actually got this, um, bought this for myself out of um, frustration. <laughs> it was a bit of an impulse purchase definitely out of a little bit of frustration and i'll get into that i'll explain that later but let's just open the box and as you guys can see it's from louis vuitton Ooh, i love opening louis vuitton boxes it's just so exciting to see the packaging so this is the box right here let's open her up Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is smaller than I thought. Well, not smaller, but like long, like wider than I thought. Okay, so another item that I got is this right here. But guess what? There's another one inside. Wait a minute, but guess what? There's another one inside. <laughs> this right here is the Louis Vuitton um, Karagami um, pouch accessories. Uh, I mean, pochette, whatever it's called, but this is it right here. So basically you get three Louis Vuitton um, SLGs for a very good price so yeah so actually you know this one is really smaller than I thought I really thought that this was gonna be bigger in case you come across this video and you also want to purchase this item 
just letting you know off the bat, every video that you see on YouTube about it, it actually looks smaller in person. I feel like every time I see a product and I actually get it, it's always, 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 always smaller in person. So, um, I feel like I expected this one, the medium one, to look how it looks. But I definitely thought the big one and the um, baby one was going to be a bit bigger. I purchased this out of impulse um, and a bit of frustration, to be honest. So, if you like Louis Vuitton items or if you've been trying to purchase something at Louis Vuitton, then you probably know that almost everything, not almost everything, but like a lot of the stuff that a lot of us are looking for is currently out of stock. And they are like unicorn, unicorn items. Like it's so hard to catch, to get your hands on these specific items, especially the ones that are very, very affordable. Um, one of the SLGs or like the pochettes. That is like everybody wants because it's so affordable, but that is such a good product, a, a, um, a full functioning product to have, um, bad to have that everybody's chasing it, right? So it's always out of stock. I have about three or four items currently on my profile that I've saved, just stalking it, waiting for it to come back. Like every day when I wake up, out of frustration that I couldn't get any of the unicorn items. When I saw that this was in stock, I immediately ran and bought it. Um, just to, just to feel a sense of satisfaction, like, ha, I finally copped something. I finally got my hands on something that is, like, hard to get. So, another reason why I got this also is because I recently lost my wallet. The thought of my ID and my car is just somewhere in the universe with somebody's hands probably on it kills me, even though I got new ones, I got new cards. It's still, like, oh, uh, somebody has a copy of something that used to be mine. Ugh, it's just... Anyway, <laughs> I recently lost my wallet and I needed a new wallet. When I was looking at the Louis Vuitton um, um, collection to see the wallet that they have, I just was not willing to pay that much for a wallet. Um, the prices were like $600, $700. i am like, I'm not about to spend no $600, $700 on a wallet. I feel like wallets and men, men, men and wallet is like synonymous with each other. A man always has a wallet, right? They pull out your wallet to pay for a drink. For a girl at the bar to pay for the section or to take you to dinner or to pay for whatever they have to. So I think that a um, luxury brand um, wallet for a man is a very, very necessary purchase. But for girls, we have our handbags. Your wallet is always in your handbag. So I just wasn't feeling like spending that much for a wallet that I'm always going to keep hidden in my bag anyway. Yeah, so I bought all of this <laughs> just for this. Um, so let's get into the different the three piece, pieces. So the smallest one is this one here thing right here which I'm going to use as a wallet so this is it right here it's so cute and inside is um, kind of like a dark reddish purplish type color it's so beautiful and mine is made in pair mine is made in uh, made in France so yes I was hoping I didn't get a uh, made in US one um, I think all of these are made in France these specific I don't think any of them is made in the US but I don't know but anyway yeah so this is it right here it is so cute and then the medium size is this cutie right here. It also has a um, a red lining, which is very beautiful as well. It definitely complements the monogram Louis Vuitton print. And the next item is the biggest one, which is this one. And the inside is the pink. So I definitely don't know what I'm going to do with all three. <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm going to do with all three because, like I said, this is really what I wanted. Um... I could definitely use this as a clutch if I'm going out somewhere. I could definitely use this as, as a clutch. But when it comes to this one, I, I'm not sure um, what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably, um, if you have any ideas what I can do with this, let me know. Definitely, I think this will be very useful for traveling, days that I'm traveling, international travel. Um, it does say on the website that this can be used as kind of like a passport holder. I think this is such a good product to get on, on at, at the Louis Vuitton store. If let's say that you want to get into some luxury products, but you don't want to, you know, cough, um, cough up like a thousand and over for a certain item, definitely looking at the Louis Vuitton um, SL, SLGs would be very good for you. This is a great purchase. You definitely get um, three for the cost of one at a very, you know, fairly good um Price, um, I won't say it's cheap because cheap is relative, but for a Louis Vuitton item, I think this is such a steal. It's kind of like one of the items that it can be hard to get um, at times, but not as hard as some of the other stuff that they have. And one thing that I like is very cool about this is that they use one fabric 
to basically make the whole bag. And you could tell because when you look at the front, you see that the Louis Vuitton is upright. But then when you go to the back, it's kind of like upside down. So basically they use one fabric to like, you know, make the whole thing. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So this was actually supposed to be a very short um, haul. But I don't I don't think the, uh, the Kurigami set is worth doing a whole other video on just to like show you guys for people who are interested and want to get it too to break it down to you. So really quickly, I'm just going to use this video to kind of like show you guys a little bit of uh, what can fit into the small one in case you also want to get it for the same reason that I got it for, which is to use as um, as a wallet. So this is my business card right here. And um, because of actual card, credit card is bigger than this, it's thicker than this, I should say, I'm going to double it. So every two, every two of my business card, I'm going to count it as one credit card. So two of my business card is gonna be one credit card, um, four of my business card is going to be um, two credit cards and um, six of my credit card is going to be three of an actual credit card. You get the point. So I have eight cards, eight credit cards in my hand, which is technically 16 of my business cards. If you get the math that I'm trying to do and I'm going to see if it can fit in here. Okay, so all of the card fits in comfortably and it's still a little bit of space um, to still add more um, cards in here. So about eight credit cards can fit in here, which is technically um, 16 business cards, depending on the thickness of the card. So yeah, this is the other item that I got, <laughs> the other gift that I got myself for my birthday. Okay, so the next thing that I got is more so of what I will call a, a gift gift, right? The other ones were just stuff that I just got just to, for the festivities and just to, you know, just to do something. So it actually just came in. I went to the store. I went out of state. Um, and then I went into the um, the store when I was out of state. But um, I wanted them to ship it to my home. So it just came in. And then this Gucci. I love the new Gucci green that they have going on. Definitely more so than the black and white. I think it's so pretty. It has this textured kind of print on the box too. It's just so lovely. So shout out to Gucci for this um, color change. And um, green is in season now. So that. So let's open it. I can't believe I finally got this bag. This is a bag that I have been contemplating on for a very, very long time. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to get it because so um, I have there were three different times that I almost bought it, but I just couldn't pull the plug. Um, reason being that so when it comes to like if I get a bag from, let's say, you know, the regular fast fashion size that we shop at whether pretty little thin or boohoo or whatever i like or even she and i love she and stuff more so when it was she inside but now you know whatever but she and you know bags and stuff like that i like that fun whimsical you know fun funky type bags but when it comes to luxury um and bags i like to go classic and i had a hard time figuring out whether i wanted this um particular bag because I was trying to figure out is it a classic is it going to be something that I can wear for a very long time is it um outdated is it too trendy or has the trend kind of died out now because it's been around for um a little bit uh, here it is All right, so here it is. It is the Gucci Dionysus or Dionysus, Dionysus bag, whatever you want to call it. And all is beauty. Oh, it's kind of a lot going on. Ah, I can't believe I finally got it. Finally, I was so sick because they recently had a price increase on this bag, and your girl was literally sick because I could have, I should have just bought it. When it was the um, the price before, um, so this is the bag, and like I said, I was contemplating on whether this is something that I should get because I was trying to examine whether it's going to be a classic or something that I'm going to get my money's out worth 
Um, is it something that's not going to be too outdated and still going to be a good bag in a couple of years to come? And after thinking about it, I just got it. I think it might be. And regardless of whether it's going to last longer or not, I just literally just like the bag as it is. Whether it's outdated or whether it's trendy or not, whether it's outdated or not, whether it's classic or not, whatever it is, I just really, really like the bag. Um, so this bag has been like an it bag at different periods over the years. I know one period that this bag was like a thin was like in 2018. I think it was a time where it had its, its moment. And then another time in 2015, 2016-ish, it also had its trendy moment. Right now, I don't think it's having this trendy moment, moment, but it's a bag that I think a couple of people like. I feel like people are on the fence when it comes to this. Some think it's, you know, you know, it's done with and some people still like it, but I like it and I got it. I don't know if I'm literally getting it right at the cap though, because like I said, back in 2015, a lot of people had it. It had its moment again in 2018. So 2015 up to what, six years later, um, I don't know if it's going to live another six years for me to enjoy my money's worth or I'm getting it at the later part of this stretch, but whatever. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bag. So if you are planning on getting this bag and came across this video, let me just tell you that this bag is smaller. I, I, well, in my perspective that it is when you see it online, even the many different YouTube videos, uh, um, reviews that I saw of the bag, uh, it was still like, it looked big, bigger, um, but it's really not. It's like, it's a bit, I don't want to call it small, but it's not as big as you might see it on your screen. You know, I think I'm going to do a separate video where I go in depth about this bag um, in case somebody really wants to know more about the specs. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it in this video, but I'll make sure to do another video where I go in and um, talk about it more. Let's go inside and see what the inside is giving us. So there's a little thing here that you click to open. And it has this flap right here. It kind of changes colors a bit too. So it has this flap and the inside, here you go. Okay, it has another, let me take this off. Let me take this out. The inside is suede. So the front and the back, the front, the front and the back is suede. And then the bottom is the canvas print. And then the two sides are also canvas print. So here it is. So if you are a girl that likes to carry a lot of stuff, I know some girls like to carry um, perfume, spray, taser, um, pepper spray. Um, just take everything like first aid kits and put a lot of stuff in your bag. This is perfect for me. I really don't travel with a lot. All I need is my little wallet, um, my phone, which is usually always in my hand. And what else? my keys and that's really it and maybe like once in a while other stuff um nowadays sanitizer um face mask but literally nothing much so this bag fits exactly what i need it for i am not really a big fan of gucci bags i don't think gucci mm, i just don't really i'm not really a big fan of gucci bags i feel like they don't have a lot of staple classics but definitely um this bag and the Marmont um, bag that kind of has that Chanel double flap, classic flap type um, aesthetic. I love those two bags. It's my only two bags from Gucci that I'll probably ever purchase. I'm not really a big fan of Gucci bags, but this one right here, whew, this one right here I love. It just has um, the overall aesthetic. Aesthetic kind of gives a very formal dressy vibe, but because it has the crossbody aspect to it you can really dress it down if you wanted to comment below let me know what you think do you think are we still doing this bag or are we done with it or is it too trendy or you don't think it's trendy anymore or you think it's a classic and you're just gonna have in your closet forever 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 if they do have a price increase and or if this bag ever becomes hard to get um you can always resell it the resale market is right now like boom and a lot of people go there for alternatives or it's another way to get something you're looking for i've never shopped pre-owned before nor have i ever sold anything in the pre-love market but um definitely on the selling end i'm definitely going to take advantage of it so that's another reason why i got this bag i feel like it doesn't have a huge resale value like louis vuitton um bags tend to have but i feel like it's still a bag that you can 
you know, sell it if you ever need to, even though I don't think that I will, but you never know. Anyway, that is all the stuff that I purchased, something small, you know, some mini haul for y'all. Um, hopefully, hope you found something that you like, and if it was something that you were trying to purchase, hopefully this give you this video gave you a little bit of a um, perspective on how it looks like. It gave you, like, you know, something to get an idea of what's going on with it. Um, yeah, as always, ooh, <clears throat> child, I'm tired. As always, thank you so much for watching. Wish you all success, access, happiness, and freedom, and upwards mobility always up, 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 always. Thank you all for watching, but I know I'm going to see you pretty soon again on the next video. You know why? Because I'm sure, I'm very sure that you subscribed. I'm sure you did. I believe you did. You did, right? If you didn't, make sure you subscribe and see you on the next video. Bye.